Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Shelley Darlington and I am the founder of the Strong Curves program. I thought what better way to get to know me and get to know what this channel is about than to do a Q&A. Nothing is off limits. Before we get going, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I put out a video every single week, workouts, and nutrition, healthy recipes, stuff on mindset and motivation and the occasional vlog. So I thought before we get going with these questions, we just get the obvious out of the way. I'm 34 years old. I'm currently living in sunny Queensland in Australia and I've been working in the fitness game for the last god knows how long a long time many years <laughs> without further ado let's get into these questions first question is from Corinne and she asks uh, how many years have you been working out and do you have any fitness qualifications I started working out when I was 26 hang on a minute yeah 26 for seven 26 plus 7 is 33, so no. Eight years. So yeah, I was 26 when I first started and I was not a sporty person at all. I'd never stepped foot in a gym before. I was an absolute geek at school. Uh, you would have found me either in the library or in the art room. So I started very late in life. I pretty much do a mixture of weights, and yoga and I walk everywhere. Yeah, and do I have any fitness qualifications? Yes, I do. I am a qualified personal trainer with the National Academy of Sports Medicine. I'm also a, a qualified yoga teacher. I've worked as a personal trainer face-to-face. -face. I've done group classes and one-on-one -on -one yoga teaching um, and I've worked online with clients all over the world for about six years. Corinne also wants to know what my favourite food guilty pleasure is. Pizza and sushi. I have been known to devour a whole platter of 40 pieces of sushi all to myself in one sitting. <laughs> a girl can eat. It used to be red wine but I don't drink alcohol anymore at all. I'm completely teetotal so yeah. And she also wants to know what my thoughts on plastic surgery are. Wow. <laughs> That's a good question. I have had surgery myself. So from I've gone from someone who's been very anti-surgery to someone who's gone and had surgery. So um, look, I just think that if it makes you happy and it makes you feel better about yourself, then who am I to judge, right? I think just do whatever makes you happy. It's not for everyone. I'm not saying that if you're unhappy with your body that you should just go out and get surgery. Uh, but I'm saying if it's something that's bothering you and it cannot be fixed any other way, then then absolutely do what makes you happy. But um, I also believe in accepting your body as it is and loving yourself, trying to accept the things that you don't like so much about yourself. Next, uh, we have got Taja and she says, do I practice mindfulness? Uh, and if so, how? Yes, I do, 100% I practice mindfulness and I think it's probably, aside from lifting weights, it's one of the things that has had the biggest impact on my life ever. I practice yoga daily and I practice meditation daily. Some amazing books that have helped me with that are Eckhart Tolle's A New Earth and The Power of Now. Also um, Abraham Hicks' Ask and It Is Given. The Secret, um, which is all about the law of attraction. I'm very much into positive mindset and I like to talk about that topic at length. So you'll be seeing more of that on my channel. Taja has also asked me, have I ever won anything? Um, Yes, I've won quite a few things in my time. I won graduate of the year at uni when I studied fashion design, which meant that I got a scholarship to do my masters and I, um, I won 5,000 pounds, British pounds back then. And like any normal person, I went off and bought an industrial knitting machine. And so, yeah, I liked to knit. I've also won arts awards, throughout uni. I've had my paintings and, and artwork shown in galleries, uh, but probably most recently placed or won a few bikini fitness competitions, which follows on to a question by 
Rachel who um, has asked what bikini comps have I done and what did I place in them so my first bikini competition was the New South Wales Championships in 2016 where I coached myself entirely I trained myself I did my own nutrition and I won my class um, which was amazing for my first time ever and then that qualified me to go and compete at the Arnold Classic Sports Festival in Melbourne which is an international bodybuilding competition where I competed in bikini open and I came second um, and that was my first international show my second show ever again coached entirely by me nutrition and all um, and yeah so I was amazed with that and then May last year I competed in WBFF at Bikini Short and I placed uh, top 10 I came sixth in that lineup and I haven't competed since and I'm not sure I'm going to compete again in the future it's probably something I might do a video on if you guys want to know let me know in the comments because I'm happy to talk about that but I probably will not compete anytime soon. Dawn wants to know uh, why did I move to Australia? I moved to Australia about eight years ago? Nine, nine years ago? Eight years ago? God, I can't remember now. Basically, I didn't know a soul. I didn't, didn't have any f family or friends in Australia. I didn't have a job lined up. Um, I was living in London. You know, I just, I was floating around and I just didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life so I got myself a working holiday visa and I had about 250 pounds in my pocket and nothing in the bank and no job and I just got on a plane and landed in Australia and um, thought I might kind of backpack or travel around the east coast a bit I had actually been to Australia before Back when I was 20 years old, I did the whole backpacking thing. I loved Australia and I just thought, I wanna see more of the world, why not? It was probably one of the toughest things I've ever done in my life. I don't know whether I was brave or stupid, I was probably both. I had bouts of being extremely lonely and confused and not knowing what to do with myself. I had to start from scratch, make friends from scratch, find a job. Um, you know, it, it was it was hard. It was it was really tough. Um, but obviously, I'm still here. Um, you know, eight years later, so I found my feet and yeah, never looked back. So I did get another question from someone. I can't remember who it was. They asked me where I'm from, and Larissa wants to know what religion do I follow. Maybe I'll answer them together because they kind of will explain to you. But basically, I am half. English, half Israeli. So on my mother's side of the family are from Israel, from Eastern European descent uh, and are Jewish. And all of my dad's side of the family are from England and aren't necessarily religious, but are uh, Church of England. So I grew up kind of somewhere in the middle, um, but I guess by birth I am Jewish, but I don't follow any sort of religion. I guess I, I would say I'm a spiritual person, but then again, when you say spiritual, it kind of makes you think airy-fairy hippie stuff, and that's not me either, but I do class myself as a spiritual person. I believe in myself. <laughs> Taylor wants to know, what is the weirdest thing about you? <laughs> this is a tough question, because I don't actually think I'm that weird. I guess I recently found out that I have um, a disorder, uh, um, yeah, this is gonna sound really weird, and I promise you I'm normal, I'm not a crazy person, isn't that what all crazy people say? My triggers for this disorder are, uh, puppies, baby humans, and occasionally my boyfriend. Now, this disorder, uh, how can I explain this without sounding like a nutter? Okay, so basically I have what's known as cute aggression. If you don't know what this disorder is, then Google it right now, cute aggression. And what it means is that I get very overwhelmed when I face something cute. So for me, if you were to put a baby Pomeranian in my lap, I would just get so overwhelmed with my emotions that I just, I don't know how to deal with it. And I literally 
feel like wringing its neck. I realize that sounds completely insane and I'm, I assure you I am not a violent person, but yeah. Baby Pomeranians, baby humans, and occasionally my boyfriend. Oh, I just need to get that aggression out and I just feel like, mm, do you ever feel like punching someone because they're just so cute? Anyway, that's cute aggression and I, I suffer with that. Of course, I just want to say that I would never, ever act on those feelings, but I do feel like sometimes smushing the life out of a puppy. feel a lot better for getting that off my chest. Oh, also, I have, uh, this is what my party trick would be, I guess. I have extremely flat feet, like, like the flattest feet you've ever seen. I basically have no arch in my foot, but um, I can also do this, you guys, which is pretty weird. I can... Um, twiddle my little toe like crazy. Yeah, there you go. That's my party trick. I'm pretty special, I'm pretty talented, don't you agree? Anyway, moving on. Last question from Dawn is, um, this is a really good one. What drives you? This is gonna sound really cliched and I don't mean this to sound cheesy at all, but what drives me is purely and only to feel good and be happy. My spiritual journey over the years has led me to understand that there is nothing more important in life than being happy and that happiness is absolutely a state of mind and it is a choice that you make and realizing that nothing outside of me dictates to me how I live my life. I'm the creator of my own reality, of my own life. You've got to follow your passion. There's nothing else more important in life than following what feels good to you. I promise you that when you start doing that, everything else just kind of clicks into place and un unfolds for you in the most wonderful way. But you've got to first work on, on everything in here. And when I did that for myself, it, it was life-changing. I'm so grateful every single day that I get to live my passion. And my passion is being fit, being healthy, lifting weights in the gym, bettering myself, self-development, learning more, growing more, and most of all, being able to show you guys how to do that too. Nothing gives me more satisfaction than helping other people do for themselves what I did for myself over these years. And it's what gets me up in the morning. I love the fact that I can make these videos and help you guys. It's just like the most fun thing ever to me. And I love it. So that's what drives me. Being happy and following my passion and being able to share it with you guys. What a life. Um, anyway, you guys, I think I've answered enough questions. I was waffling on hard there. I like to talk, can you tell? Thank you to everyone who um, asked me questions. This video is really fun to make, actually. Thank you so much for listening. If you like what you saw in this video, then please press that red button down there and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you in the next video.